guys i am getting over the worst cold so i'm so sorry if my voice sounds a little and by a little i mean a lot nasally um i can only do so much i've been out of commission for a week and you know what that's that's long enough i've been eating healthy i've had a coconut <laughs> so life goes on However, I wanted to make a video because I just got something in the mail ah, that I'm really excited about and I thought I would do a fun little mini unboxing back to school haul because I got some pieces that I'm gonna be wearing to school, stuff, stuff that's like really easy to style, so I thought I'd share. So this package is from ThreadUp, which is my favorite online secondhand shop. So I like shopping here for three reasons. One, because it is literally the most eco-friendly way that you can shop. Fashion industry responsible for a whole lot of damage on this planet. Waste, pollution, all of it is bad news. So I've been trying to make an effort to shop secondhand a lot more. And this I find is the easiest way to do it because that's my second point. Um, when you go onto threadup.com, you put in all of your sizing, all of the stuff that you're looking for, and it just shows you exactly what you want. There's no sorting through racks and finding something that you love to figure out it's not your size. Like that's really what I don't like about going to traditional consignment shops. And three, everything is much, much cheaper. And it's pretty much at brand new quality. Like a lot of the pieces that I've gotten from ThreadUp still have tags on them and they're marked down at like 50, 60, 70, 80, even 90% off sometimes. But before I open this up, I just want to take a moment to give a really big warm thank you to ThreadUp because they are sponsoring this video and they're also offering you guys a really amazing deal. 40% off your first order. So all you have to do is use code KALEL40 at checkout. I'll have all the little details and links and all of that down here, but all right. Let's open her. This first piece I got is a scarf, which is an absolute must have for school. Like I just feel you can put on a basic white tee, jeans and a scarf and that is like, that's a school look girl. That is a school look. So this one is way more beautiful in person than online. It's from Calvin Klein. I love it. Oh my gosh. This retailed for $44 and I paid 21. Very good deal. Okay, this is most exciting. I found Citizens of Humanity jeans. These are like $200 jeans in a size 23, which let me tell you is really hard to find, okay? Really hard to find. Um, my size perfect jeans these are like brand new like this season's jeans for 60 dollars just kidding they were 40 dollars not 60 dollars i i don't know why when i looked at that i thought it said 60 i have my order pulled up on my computer i thought it said 60 but no it said 40 so that's really crazy 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 good deal because i know for me Designer jeans is something that I do feel is worth the price, but pains me to pay. And from my personal experience, there is a very big difference in the fit of designer denim versus like denim that you would get at a more affordable store. I don't mean to like sound like a snob, but truly you have to go try on a pair. Like I. <laughs> I remember the first time I ever tried on a designer pair of jeans. I actually wanted to kill the man who brought them to me because I was at Bloomingdale's and I had been trying on, like I had never spent that much money on clothes before and he just brought me a pair of rag and bone jeans and I think they were like $300. He goes, oh, we just got these in. Like you should really try them on. Like the fit is amazing. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna buy these, but I will try them on. I tried them on. Ever since that day, I now only wear designer jeans, but I very rarely pay for them at full price. So checking secondhand shops is the absolute best way to get designer denim. So check it out. Next we have this sheer blouse with brass buttons. Oh my gosh, I am all about the sheer trend. 
I love it because you can be a little bit more conservative and just wear like a cami under it or you can wear like a really cute bralette and some high-waisted jeans and it still doesn't look too much you know it's just kind of fun it's a little risque without being too risque and I just love that so this is from BCBG and it retailed for $138 and I paid $26. Spooky, excuse me. Okay, this is a really interesting piece that I wasn't sure I was going to like. This is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I thought this is a really good layering piece for the fall. I should just be a little bit more adventurous. It is like a tuxedo sleeveless blazer. And this is from a designer that I've never heard of. I'm thinking this may be from England. Um, it's called the Savile Roco London. Never heard of it, but it retailed for $240 and I paid 51. And the construction is very, very, very good. And I actually think I'm going to love this. Sometimes it's good to go out of your comfort zone with fashion. I have to admit, I'm not the best at that. I like to play it safe a lot because I've had many, many times when I look back at my past and I'm like, girl, why? Why, why did I do that? Why did, well, actually, you know, the better question is, why didn't anyone in my life tell me no? <laughs> Okay, next, this is an absolute, absolute must have for back to school. A lightweight cardigan. Oh, this is perfect because class can get really cold sometimes. We all know this. You want to have something in your bag that you can throw on. This is so little, you just roll it up and it takes up next to no space in your bag. So that's really good. And I really like this color because it's taupey but it's like a little bit more of a warm taupe, so it could kind of go either direction. This is from BCBG, and no, it is not silk. A lot of their cardigans do have silk, so watch out for that if you are vegan. Um, it's Lyocell and Spandex, and these are really expensive. This retailed for $268, and I paid 60. That must have been where I was seeing the 60 when I thought that the jeans were 60, but no, this was 60. That's crazy that these cardigans are more expensive than jeans, but they are really soft, really high quality, stretchy. I've always wanted one of these, but I was like, girl, I am not spending $260 on a cardigan, no. And that's another great thing about secondhand shops is it, makes you feel like you can buy pieces that you wouldn't normally shell out that kind of coin for. You know what I'm saying? Okay, last item. This actually might be a little risque for class. I mean, if you're in high school, maybe not. College, I don't think they can tell me no, can they? That's, that, that's actually a really interesting question. Can they, is there any kind of dress code at college? Like, can they tell you no? Like, could I show up in like a bra and cut off shorts and cowboy boots and like, could they say nothing? I'm really curious. <laughs> I don't know why, cause I'm never gonna do that, but I'm just really curious. Anyway, this is like a little bodycon dress, striped. It's from the brand Mink Pink. Anyway, it's not that it's really that short, but I think maybe just the, how tight it is. I think if I pair it with um, like a denim jacket or something more oversized, then it won't look as, you know, hey girl. This was really affordable. Um, retail for 60 and I paid 17. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini haul. I cannot believe that I'm going back to school this week. That's crazy. I mean, by the time you guys are watching this, I will already be in school. Crazy. I actually want to get ready. I think the next video I'm going to film is a what's in my school backpack because you guys know I'm really crazy with organization and like all my things and stuff. So I think um, I saw some people requesting that. So I'm going to do that. Also, uh, let me know what you guys think about like this setup. My... SLR camera literally broke 
the last time I made a video. And I just don't want to pay to get it fixed. I almost feel like maybe it's a sign that I should just use my little camera and have a more like authentic vibe. I don't think I need the whole like professional camera lighting sound. Like I think for a really long time I wanted to take that approach but now I just am really feeling connected with my audience and I almost kind of like the more like amateur vibe. Sorry, my voice is getting so nasally. <laughs> so nasally, I need more coconut, I need to blow my nose. Um, I need to go rewatch Game of Thrones finale for the 50th time. No spoilers, don't worry. But <coughs> that episode, guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you to everyone who prayed to the universe to make that episode turn out the way it did. I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you really soon. Bye.